I'm sending out text messages that look roughly something like this. Everybody, I'm using REI reply, okay? Because if you're not, if you do it by yourself, whew, okay? Here's the messages I'm basically sending out. Okay, steal this, screenshot that, whatever you need to do. But that's basically a series of messages that you could use. Put yes, no, or maybe on the end of it. You know what? I'm starting to not like that because everybody in the whole world now is doing that. So this is a picture of the responses. I shared this a little while back in a different context. But look at these responses, okay? Not at this time. Am I going to call that one? You guys help me I, because I'm brand new at this and I don't know which ones I should and which ones I shouldn't. I'm serious. Somebody help me out. Not at this time. Do I call that one? No, I would not call him. I, you would not call that guy. <laughs> I'm not sure. You don't have to tell me no twice. We wouldn't call not at this time. Would we call the second one? It's under contract. If anything changes, I'll let you know. No. Why, why would we not call that one though? I mean, they didn't say no. Well, I guess it would all depend for me with how much response that I got. He would he would be in the second tier of a follow up. I don't know if I'd waste my time with it because it's under contract already. Can he yeah. can he be under contract twice? That says a lot about the way he operates if he does go that direction. Right. If he's willing to to be dating this other person and then also seeing you on the side. Oh, exactly. <laughs> you know, he's probably going to be seeing somebody on the side when he's dating you. Exactly. You know what I mean? So now, what about the third one? Call me. Okay. Ring. Boom. Yeah, I think so too. How about the fourth one? Yes. That would be a ring. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I get fucking butterflies when I see that word. I don't know why, but I just get excited. All I got to do is not fuck up. Okay. That's why I get excited. Okay. They already at yes. Get the 19 questions out and get to work. That deal might not work out anyway because it might be the down payment's too crazy or something. Who knows? But you want to make sure that you're the one that's in the decision-making seat. All right, let's make the next the next one here. Sorry, just not interested in leasing at this time. <clears throat> what do we do with this one? Do we call this one? Do we not call this one? Do we put this one in a 30-day follow-up? Or what do we do? We throw it in the trash? Someone help me. Would you be interested in a cash offer? Well, hell yeah, they'd be interested in a cash offer. I mean, I'm, they're glad you asked now. <laughs> See, that's the thing. What if it was a discounted cash offer? Yeah. I've been experimenting with it a little bit, had no success with it, man, so far. Yeah. It's a big topic on that follow-up. When they say no to a lease option, do you follow up with, hey, what about a cash offer? Well, we've tried it. It's not really, it's not really made us any money. Okay. Not yet, at least. But some people are like, yeah, but if you only did one deal a year, one deal a year by placing small classified ads in newspapers all across the country. Yeah, this is good stuff because who do we know who to call and not to call? So the one on the, when you say not yet, I like that one because you could just do like a week or two week follow up and see where they're at. What about this one? I'm already leased. Thanks. Again, that's like I have it under contract, right? What about this one? I have to sell. Man, they, that's really like they're saying no to a lease option, right? Yeah, yeah that's basically I need I to. have to sell. They're saying no to a lease option, but I, I don't know. What do you think about that one? You What'd got you time call calling call and lowball, you know, so you can get a get a wholesale deal. Might be some urgency there, okay. kind of showing a little motivation. I mean, maybe they said I have to sell, maybe. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry we are not exploring any lease options. That's the next one. I'm sorry, I would need. I would not be able to do that. I need to sell. That was the next one. Let's look at another response. It was a typical lease options text that went out. That person said no. And then in a second text, they said, I want to get rid of it now. Isn't this interesting? These are real leads that have responded to the messages that I tell you guys to use. And then some of them don't fit into a yes or a no. Some There's like this gray area, like this one here, no no to the lease option but then follows it up with i want to get rid of it now is that worth calling i would probably call that one 